Shalom family. Um, from now on, I will be addressing you, addressing you as family. Yahuwah gave me a word on this this week, and one of the subscribers, I mean, just the next couple of days, confirmed the word very quick, and it's a reason why um, I will be saying family from now on. This is something he want us to get. This this will make a closer relationship with his people. You know, the scripture says that the elect will begin to dwell with the elect. Now, let me make make sure I make myself clear. When I say family, I'm talking to those that keep the Torah, those that keep his commandments, not to the rebels, not to those that come against, not to those that don't know him. Yahushua Yahu, Yahu said, who is my mother, who is my brother, who is my sister, they that do the will of my father. So these, this, these are the ones that I'm talking about. And you will know it. Shalom to the, the ones that drop those comments. You don't know how they barack me to die for your comments. All right, this video, Yasharal in enemy's land. Yasharal, we understand Yasharal being in enemy's land. Yasharal scattered across the whole earth. Um, all these lands, these lands, it's the lands of. Joshua Ross enemy. Okay, first scripture here. Baruch 3 and 10. Why is it, O Joshua Raw? Why is it? We're being asked a question. Why is it that you're in the land of your enemies? How did this happen? How did this happen? How did we get in the land of our enemies? And the scripture breaks everything down and will explain to us exactly how and what happened. It says that you are grown old in a foreign country that you are defiled with the dead. One of the things the Most High want you to get in this video is you are defiled with the dead. The people are dead. There is no coming back to life for these people. They are dead. They are finished. And he's asking us a question here. How? Why? Why are you still in the land? Why are you growing old? We are, We have grown old old in the in these foreign countries and being defiled with the dead next scripture this is uh louis 4 and 15 i'm gonna read 15 17 and 25 through 29 watch this it says yea you shall bring a curse upon our nation this is what happened you don't want to know why and how because the light the light of the Torah, which was given for the light for to lighten every man. So this, make sure we understand this. This Torah, this law, it was to be given to lighten every man. You see, these wicked camps are teaching the law was given to us and not to Gui. You see, that's not true. That's not the order. That's a lie. That's man-made teaching. They knew the law was given to, to Yahshua Raw, and then Yahshua Raw was to be the light, was to give that light to the world. Now, he didn't give it, the Most High didn't give it to Gui. That's, that's, he put that job upon the shoulders of Yahshua Raw. That's the order. He says that light was to be given to every man. Make sure you understand this, Gui, because if Gui listened to these camps, Gui will think, well, we're not supposed to keep the law. We won't suffer the curses of the law. That's a lie. Stay in the enemy's land, Gui, and you will suffer. You will suffer curse. You will suffer tribulation. You will have to die also. He says, you desire to destroy by the teaching commandments contra contrary to the ordinance of the Most High. So this is what's going on. These, these people are teaching something. They're teaching commandments that's contrary, that's different than what he gave. 17, and out of covetousness, you shall teach the commandments of Yahuwah. Look at this. Wedded women, wedded women shall you pollute. These women already married. And the virgins of Jerusalem, you shall defile. And with harlots and adulterers shall you join. We, the, look. Joined together with harlots and adulterers, and the daughters of Gui, and they now remember this is to Louis, this is your priesthood. They join with Gui, they're not to marry with Gui, and we're going to see why. Shall you take the wife, purifying them with an unlawful purification, 
This is why he didn't command this. He told that he, they are not commanded to go into Gui. They're not commanded to make Gui their wives. And he says, and your union, since you joined with Gui, your union will be like unto Sodom and Gomorrah. Your union will be like unto Sodom and Gomorrah. People have to get this because they're being taught that it doesn't matter. Um, he's he's okay with with this union. No, he's not okay with Yashara marrying Gui. And this has been a known fact. Okay, verse 25. And you shall make void the Torah. This is what's already happened. And said at naught the words of the prophets by evil perverseness. We're gonna tell we're gonna say the law is done away with, and we're gonna make the words of the prophets is void, null and void. We're gonna use only the words we want to use and by evil perverseness. And you shall persecute righteous men. Look at this. This is what happened. When people get thrown off, saying the law done away with, they persecute righteous men and hate the righteous men. The words of the righteous shall be abhorred. You see, they even hate the words. See, when I, uh, most most of what I do on this channel is give righteous words. I'm giving his word, and people hate that word that comes from this channel. And a man who renews the law in the power of the Most High, this is what we do. We renew the law. We say it's not done away with. We re renew the law. You shall call a deceiver. So someone that's renewing the law, this is the Christians are guilty for this because we cleave to the law. They say we are deceivers and they believe Paul when he says, uh, by grace, you're saved, not of works, lest any man boast. And they said, you're you working and operating in legalism. Listen to these TV preachers. Listen to your, your pastors. This is what they teach. Why? It's part of their it's part of their teaching. It comes from the Bible college. It's their, theo it's their theology from the theologian college. This is exactly what it is. And at last you shall rush upon him to slay him, killing righteous men, not knowing his dignity, taking innocent blood through wickedness upon your heads. And your Kadash place shall be laid waste even to the ground because of him. And you shall have no place that is clean, no place. Understand right now, there, look, all these lands, no place that is clean. But you shall be where? Among Gui, a curse and a dispersion until he shall again visit you. Here it, here it is. Here's our vi See, this visitation, they knew this. We were given this thousands of years ago. They knew this. We're the only one don't know anything about this visitation. Until he yet again visits you, and in pity shall receive you through your your almond and water, meaning a purification process that we have to go through. Once again, we error not knowing scriptures. The, the word is true. He said, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. We, we perish daily for the lack of knowledge. Jeremiah 3 and 1, they say, if a man divorces his wife, they're asking a question here. And she goes from him and become another man's. May he return to her again? Of course not. We know this is this is wrong. This, the law is against. He's already said. We saw this with Yasharal and his son Reuben. When he went into Reuben, his father's wife, Yasharal knew the word. He can't go back. He can't go back into her. And we know the story. We know what happened. It says, would not, watch this, would not that, Land be greatly polluted. Understand, if a man has a wife, she they divorce, they go separate ways. And what they're saying, this man can't go back into it. If he go back into her, the land will be greatly polluted. Now think about the stuff that's going on in Babylon. And they're talking about this. Worse things are going on. You have husbands and wives sleeping with each other. You have men and women sleeping with men and women. You have men raping boys you it, it's all the land is greatly polluted but you have played the harlot with many lovers yet return to me says Yahuwah. ezekiel 22 and 18 son of man he says whose house of yashara has become dross to me this is what yashara the house of yashara becomes dross to me to the most high 
He says, they are all bronze, tin, iron, lead in the midst of the furnace. They have become dross with silver. And this is what dross is. Something regarded as worthless. Y'all should raw become worthless, rubbish, trash, junk. This is what y'all should raw become. A particular scum formed on the surf of malted metal. This is what he's calling Yasharal. Limitations 5 and 7. Our fathers have sinned and are no more, but we bear the iniquities. You see, the fathers are gone. They sin, but we still. What they did in the land thousands of years ago, we are suffering. Limitations 4 and 17. It says, still our eyes fail us, watching vainly for our help. In our watching, we watch for a nation that could not save us. Why are we looking for a nation that cannot save us? I don't understand this. Our people are looking to President Donald Trump. Our people are teaching uh, to the people to look to President Donald Trump to save us. This is watching. It says you're watching vainly for help. We're watching vainly help from the Most High. And he's telling us. I'm not delivering you. I've already given you my word to deliver yourself. And you see our people he walking in ignorance, thinking he's going to deliver them. But there is something coming. And when it comes, he will not deliver you because he told you and me to deliver ourselves. He says, in our watching, we watch. How is it we're, we're asking for Donald Trump to free us? Let my people go. No, this is not going to happen. They have someone in there that hates us. You see, they are primed and ready to go. And he's stirring up the hate with his friends, the other people that hate us. And right now, racism is at its all-time high. Why do you think so? I smell a setup. Habakkuk 1 and 4, he says, therefore, the law is powerless. Here it is. The law in, in, in these lands, it's powerless. And justice never go forth. Justice will never go forth. And we're looking for justice. How can we get justice in an unjust land? It will never happen. For the wickedness surrounds the righteous. You must understand this. The wicked surrounds the righteous. This is therefore perverse judgment proceeds. Listen, I, if I'm going to be surrounded, I want to be surrounded by that wall of fire from Yahuwah. I want to be surrounded by the Malachs, the mess his messengers. This is who we should be surrounded by. Righteousness surround righteousness. Leviticus, and I will not, I'm going to have to do a part two. Leviticus 26, 38 through 42. It says, and you shall perish among the heathen. You shall perish among those that commit iniquity. You shall perish among those that do not like him. You shall perish in the land. Look at this. And the land of your enemy shall eat you up. This is what the Most High want you to understand. Yasharal's in enemy's land. This is a public service announcement. And he is saying Yasharal is in enemy's land. And the land, the enemy's will eat you up in that land he says and they that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquity our people will continue our people will continue in iniquity in your enemy's land and also in the iniquities of the fathers shall they pine away with them the, we will continue in our iniquities we will continue in the iniquities of our fathers, meaning the same thing they did. We will continue it. We will continue to do the exact same thing. How is it we can do this and have no conscience? Let me tell you how we can do this. We have absolute no regard for the Most High. We don't fear Him. We don't understand of that word, fearing the Most High. We have no Fear of him. But let me tell you, the day is coming when you're going to wish, these people are going to wish that they had this fear in them, the fear, this, this love that comes from him. They're going to wish they had his love inside of them. But it, at that time, it will most definitely be too late. 